Generation 9 might be upon us with the arrival of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but Generation 8 still has something to offer that you may have not noticed before, despite Generation 8 having been active for almost three years. And believe it or not, it's actually a Pokemon within this generation that you might not be aware of at all. So, if you have been watching my videos recently, you probably have heard about today's wonderful sponsor, Manscaped, and how they have been an amazing supporter of the channel. This April, Manscaped are proud to announce that they have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society for Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. Testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer in men ages 15 to 35, and Manscaped wants to help spread awareness and save lives by making sure you check yourself while enjoying the Manscaped products you would normally use every day anyway, like the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Crop Mop ball wipes, and their entire range of grooming and hygiene products. You can visit manscaped.com slash TCS to learn how to check yourself properly, or you can simply share their funny educational video on the subject and help save some lives. As always, you can also head over to manscaped.com and use code HOOPSVGM to get yourself 20% off plus free shipping on any order. Be sure to check all of that out with the links in the description, and a huge thank you to Manscaped for their amazing support. So, returning to the Pokémon, there is in fact a secret Pokémon within Generation 8, but it's not one that you can access. In fact, it's one that is only ever mentioned. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, if you comb through the game's Pokedex entries, you will eventually happen upon Skorupi. Looking at Skorupi's entry from Pokemon Sword, it states that after burrowing into the sand, it waits patiently for prey to come near. This Pokemon and Sizzlipede share common descent. This means that both Skorupi and Sizzlipede evolved into their own separate species from the same ancestor, the same Pokémon, a Pokémon that according to this Dex entry canonically exists, but we unfortunately have not got the chance to see it for ourselves. Well, that's where I come in, because stuff like this fascinates me to no end, and so I thought it would be fun to take what we know about this mysterious Pokémon and create a design of my own that could depict what this Pokémon could be like if it was ever officially introduced. The artwork for this design I have made was drawn by Chartius over on Twitter, so be sure to check them out with the link in the description because, as you will soon see, they did a great job. And with that in mind, I might as well not make you wait any longer and show you what this secret ancestor Pokémon could look like. These are the secret Gen 8 Pokémon that have been hiding from us this whole time. Or at least, it's what they could be like. I call them Crawlabite and Prilobite, and the reason why these secret Pokémon could look something like this if they were ever officially revealed is as follows. Firstly, we've got a two-stage line here because as ancestors of both the Skorupi line and the Sizzlipede line, who are both two stages themselves, it only makes sense for their ancestor Pokémon to be a two-stager as well. Of course, though, they're not going to be exactly the same as their descendants because not only is evolution a thing, but Skorupi and Sizzlipede are very different Pokémon themselves. That's why, when it comes to their typing, Crawlabite and Prilobite are bug water types. Since Skorupi is part poison type and Sizzlepeed is part fire, and those types are very different, it seems obvious that these Pokémon gained these types as a result of their own evolutionary adaptation, so it wouldn't make much sense for this ancestor Pokémon to have one of these types or the other. 
With that said, it could just be a pure bug type, but I have gone with bug water because of a commonality that Skaroopy and Sizzlipede share. Skaroopy and Sizzlipede are based on a scorpion and a centipede, respectively, both of which are arthropods. So, with this common trait, it only makes sense for their ancestor to also be based on an arthropod, and one of the earliest arthropods to ever exist was the trilobite, which was also a marine mammal, and as such, this is what I figured this Pokémon could be based on, and why it's also part water type. Transitioning from water to poison or fire type, though, is obviously a big change, but it could feasibly happen due to the fact that trilobites are one of those animals that went from living in the water to eventually creeping up onto land as life on Earth itself began to evolve. This is not only a good reason for this Pokémon to have the water type, but as an ancestor Pokémon that's meant to be this ancient creature, it's also just a good theme for these Pokémon to have as a whole, in my opinion. And it's also where these Pokémon get their names. Crawlabite, the pre-evolution, comes from Trilobite, obviously, and Crawl as in crawling onto land from the sea, but also as in it crawls because it's a young Pokémon in its first stage. Meanwhile, Prilobite also comes from Trilobite, which once again it is obviously based on, and the word prior, as in to come before, since these Pokémon came prior to Skorupi and Sizzlipede, and being their ancestor, at least within this context, is kind of their whole purpose. You also may have noticed that these Pokémon have subtle visual similarities to their descendants as well, such as Prilobite having a similar body style to Drapion, or Crawlabite having a similar bit of facial hair to what Sizzlipede has, helping to illustrate just that much more the connection between these Pokémon and the lineage they share. So, there you have it. That is at least one of the secret canonical Pokémon from Generation 8 that you may have not noticed since it's buried within the lore of the Pokédex. This was a little bit of a shorter video, but I thought the topic was very interesting, so I hope you enjoyed it. Do you think my interpretation of this Pokémon is a good one, though? Do you have any ideas of your own? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to leave the video a like if you did enjoy it, and subscribe if you're new for more content. With that said, I will be back with another video very soon, and until then, as always, thank you all so much for watching this one, I love you all very much, and I will smell you guys later.